Hey YouTube, this is Dave. Uh, today I'm sitting out in the front porch and I'm waiting for the school bus. My two boys are coming home from school and I figured I'd make a small video about the uh, Atric lap dock and uh, also the Kivik One. Um, Kivik One is a device that you can stream iOS and Android to. Uh, your video, your audio, you know, all your music files, everything. And uh, play on whatever it's connected to. So this um, Kivik One, I has a HDMI and I connected an HDMI uh, full size to a micro HDMI and then of course comes with the micro USB to USB for power so today I decided hey let's connect it to the Atrix laptop you know the, the laptop that everybody's uh, connected to their Raspberry Pis or to their uh, Android sticks and uh, basically this was meant to use for with the Atrix uh, 4G and uh, it has a micro HDMI and it has a micro uh, USB. And the lap dock is completely useless without anything connected to it. And they were selling these for like 500 bucks and then they just sold them off to get rid of them because, you know, the phone is outdated and they had a surplus. So I got this for like 40 bucks and you can get one for like 70 bucks on eBay. So check this out. I'm going to connect right into the HDMI. I had to shave down a little bit just to get it in there and then for power I could connect it to micro USB but it bumps so I'm just gonna hook it up to the rear I'll hook it up to the rear USB uh, in the back I'll show it to you and uh, if this laptop is like 10 hours of battery uh, on standby it's like months uh, it seems because I, I still have a completely full charge I have three dots now that out of five but anyway this is it, and uh, the Kivix, we're going to airplay some iOS to it. So now you, when you open it, because the HDMI is on, it will give power to the unit, and then you're going to see it, the splash screen Kivik, and it will start up. And now this Kivik device, you know, I'm, I have it in my car. Uh, this is a second unit that I have for testing, and uh, I'm going to put it right in. Now you heard that little tone, that through. Now here's the front screen. And uh, it tells you the password, Kivik, all that stuff. So now that it's connected, I could just push it aside. Completely portable. I, it has its own battery and everything. Look at that. See? Perfect. And uh, the good thing is if you have it up, it stays powered. As soon as you shut it, it'll shut power off to the Kivik. So you don't have to keep unplugging it. You could just leave it in the corner of a room or something like that. So now I'm going to get my iPhone. And I'm going to start it up. And we're going to go into Wi-Fi, and then you'll see Kivik 295. That's the the number. So now it's connected uh, through its own Wi-Fi. The Kivik is broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal, and now I'm connecting it to it so that I can put a line right to it um, wirelessly, obviously. And uh, by the way, if you wanted to hook up uh, the wire for charging there's a second USB port you could charge your phone while you're doing it as well so that's that and we'll close that and now we're gonna enable airplay mirroring so here's the Kivik and watch the screen see that Isn't that cool so now I have my iPhone screen up on their screen full screen scales nicely and uh, let's play a song okay so we'll go over to my music app and let's throw a song over and you're gonna see it. it's mirroring so like I said it's a portable device it's, it's great you know you just skip over to the next song you can play songs now not only songs we're gonna play let me just switch to the next song oh gonna hit play so there's the songs there. Now, if you wanted to come out of, and you didn't want to go into mirroring, you could just go back, and we'll just chuck it right on there. And you're going to see it has its own album artwork. The Kivik has a nice software where it allows you to uh, you know, have a nice big album artwork. And you could basically close. And if I wanted to, I could just close, and I'm listening to music, and I'll just go like on Safari and just start browsing. Your 4G still works, even though you don't need 4G to connect to this. You just need Wi-Fi. So let's just go over to, uh, I don't know. 
You just type anything in. And there it is. I'm just browsing. I typed the word ham in there or something. So, and the 4G doesn't slow down the 4G or anything like that. You know, and you're still playing music. You double tap. Go to your music app if you like. Switch to the next song. And there it is. Now let's just do a quick, you know, so you can see the video. So I don't know if I have any videos on here. I might not. Oh, there we go. I have a movie on there. So we're airplane movie now. So everybody's hooking up the Raspberry Pi. Everybody's hooking up the, uh, you know, the Android sticks. Why do that when you could spend 80 bucks to get an Android laptop and you have your iOS, you love it, you love all the apps on it, you might as well use it. So now I got myself a complete portable device. And there it is. So there you have it. The iPhone wirelessly sending an image, a mirrored or AirPlay or AirTunes, right over to this Motorola Atrix laptop, thanks to the Kivik One. So this Kivik One will be available shortly uh, after it's done with beta testing. And I hope you pick up one. It's a great little device. And uh, thanks for watching my video. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you.